<laughs> In this video, we're going to be doing something a little less elaborate than the first video, the last one. This time, we're going to be doing a hanging shelf. The aim of this DIY is to mimic one, something that I saw that I wanted for myself, a hanging shelf, but I could not get it here. I would have to order it and to order it, it would take a lot of time to get, or I could have probably tried finding somebody who could do it. But because I like to DIY, I decided to give it a shot myself. If it does not come out as refined or it does not look as polished as what I would have gotten from online or if somebody else made it for me, a professional um, made it for me, then we'll scrap it because if it's not refined enough, I don't want it. Some of the things to make this DIY, you would have to get either from a hardware store, craft store, or anywhere they sell art supplies. I already had most of the things on hand and I did not need to go out to get them. Some of them I probably would not have gotten anyway because we're still under lockdown and only places considered essential places like pharmacies and grocery stores are open. So the hardware stores are open, but it's still not a given that you would have gotten some of the things there. Uh, let me just show you what we'll need. One of them, the main thing that we'll need though is this white board. I chose this white one. You can choose any other wooden material that you want or maybe even PVC. Um, I chose this because it's already polished on its own. I, you don't have to do much work with it. And I cheated a bit because I already drilled the holes in there. So the only tool, major tool you might need for this is a drill. And I found out that with this material that you could actually even use a screwdriver. Okay, so let me show you the rest of the material that we're going to use and then we'll get into actually making the thing. Oh, and another thing is that the hope, I hope that even though I have some of the things already and I have a lot of them because I normally do DIYs, undocumented, um, and I normally have to customize stuff for when I do events or weddings or so on for centerpieces and so, so I have some of the material already. However, what I will do is at the end of this, I will calculate about how much it costs to make this yourself and then we will compare it to the price online. And then we will see if it's worth it. If it's worth it to do, your, do it yourself or maybe just order it, wait like a month or so to get it. And, or if you live somewhere where you can get it right away. But here's, a, here's the material that we need to get it done. We will need twine, uh, the base, a board of some sort. I'm using this white one. You can use any type you want that fits into the decor that you already have in your space. Um, screwdriver, hooks for the wall. One of these doorknobs I'm going to be using eventually, I will add to the hook that I'm using in the wall just to give it a more finished look. You can use adhesive wall hooks if you want, but I have had bad experiences, so I am just going to drill a hole and put in a and screw in a wall hook. This gives you a more rustic look, which is what I'm going for. I want something that looks more boho chic. And then I have this one. It can also give you the rustic look, but it just is more polished because it, it looks so clean. Um, I think I might try I might try the both of them and see which one I like the most but because I'm going to put it against this contrasting yellow I think I'll use the I don't know we'll see you also need scissors a level and a measuring tape as for me I went full DIY and I abandoned my level and my measuring tape and I just eyeballed it mostly after measuring I tied the twine into the board and made sure it was sturdy 
the ends of the twine i found it looked better when undone and you just rough it up a bit that added more boho to the shake <laughs> and when i was done actually making the shelf i made my hanging space by drilling and screwing in the hook and, and i hung my shelf on the wall then i added some decor pieces and voila So I'm actually happy with how the shelf turned out um, as compared to the one that I saw on Amazon that I would have ordered which was about 30 US so maybe like 160 easy because you have to factor in shipping and you have to factor in clearing um, it cost it'll cost you if you were to recreate this it will cost you about 30 to 40 dollars which I think is worth it for a modern chic but would look like floating shelf so that's my that's my floating shelf thanks for watching <laughs>